Okay, guys, we're here and we're going to talk about uh, and the trapezoids. Uh, and of course, as you remember, a trapezoid, uh, we have the bases. The bases are here at GC and AB, and of course, the bases are parallel. This is a trapezoid, which is not necessarily isosceles, as you can see here. The only condition that needs to be uh, stated is that the bases are parallel. The bases are parallel. Now we're going to want to try to find a formula for the area of the trapezoid. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, at this point, I'm just going to let um, the uh, sketch pad figure out the area, okay? Uh, and then we're going to come in and we're going to talk about the uh, formula to find the area. So here is the area. I'm going to measure that area. And that area proves to be, in this case, uh, 48 uh, square centimeters and of course that's subject to change as we change this so we're gonna think about uh, what is needed for the area uh, obviously some values of the sides are going to be needed so uh, we're going to give you the formula and I'm going to show you how when we plug the formulas in the area will always be bound okay and we'll come back in just a second to do Okay, and we're back, and we have here what is the formula. The formula for the area of a trapezoid is half the height times the sum of the bases. Half the height times base 1 plus base 2. So uh, the bases, of course, are the parallel sides, okay? And uh, we have them expressed here in the formula with the lengths that are needed. Uh, one half the height, which is CE, and of course the height is always the distance between the bases. We just drew a perpendicular from C down to the opposite base, and that's going to be the measure of our height. The height's going to be uh, the distance between the bases. Okay, so the area is half the height times the sum of the two bases. We're going to show you that right now by calculating this, okay? We're going to calculate that formula. It's going to be half, which is going to be, of course, 0.5 times the height, okay? And then uh, we're going to sum up the bases times, and then in parentheses, the one base plus the other base, okay? And, and that, as you can see, is the same as the height. And we're going to change that and prove it to you that regardless of how we alter this, okay, um, the area formula for any and all trapezoids is one half the height, that is the distance between the two bases, and times the sum of the two bases, okay? And that's uh, for whether this is going to be uh, an isosceles trapezoid, if I could make it into such, maybe right about there is going to be an isosceles trapezoid. The area formula still holds. Or for a trapezoid uh, looking like this, or for a trapezoid that might have uh, two right angles, okay, it's always going to be the same exact formula. Always going to be the same exact formula. Half the height times the sum of the bases. Now, okay, half the height times the sum of the bases. Now, uh, just take a look. Since the height, when drawn, will always construct a right triangle, will always form a right triangle with one of the legs of the trapezoid, look for uh, those special right triangles, okay? The 30, 60, 90, the 45, 45, 90, and the Pythagorean triplets. Because if you're missing a value, if you're missing the height, and you have the leg over here, then most likely it's going to be one of those special values which is going to allow you to find the missing value so you can plug it into the formula and find the area. Okay? But there again, for any and all trapezoids, the area of the trapezoid is given by the formula one half the height times the sum of the bases. One half the height times the sum of the bases. 
the height being the distance between the two bases and the bases being the parallel sides. And that'll do it.